tonight in the kidnapping investigation of Denise Huskins. Less than 24 hours after police called it an orchestrated event, attorneys for her boyfriend insisted that it was not a hoax. KCRA3's David Beenick is live in Vallejo, where it appears Denise Huskins has been meeting with police late today. David. That does appear to be the case. Several reporters say they believe they saw Denise Huskins arrive here at the Vallejo Police Department at around 1.30 this afternoon. And then about 45 minutes ago, we saw several cars pull out of the station, including this SUV, where in the back seat there was a woman with long blonde hair and her head down. Now, police have repeatedly said they want to question Denise Huskins, but have not confirmed that this was indeed her at the station today. Earlier today, Huskins family and attorneys for her boyfriend, Aaron Quinn, said the couple is sticking by their story that at least two kidnappers broke into his home, abducted her for $8,500 ransom, and left him bound and drugged. He has basically died and gone to hell. He is in terrible shape. He is exhausted menta mentally and physically. He refused to go home. He was sleeping on our couch in this office. Uh, in order to assist the police in their investigation. He was not only bound up, he was drugged. And one of the things that he did voluntarily was give a, 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 a blood test so that the police could, could confirm that the kidnappers drugged him. Now, whoever that woman was leaving in the back of the police car this afternoon, police went to great lengths to try to protect her from being filmed. One photographer ran out into the street to try to get a closer shot, and as he did, one Vallejo police officer literally charged at him with his police cruiser. Live in Vallejo, David Bean at KCRA 3 News. Things getting a little chippy out there. So, is the couple facing any charges at this point? Well, said no, not at this point. The police say it'll be up to the district attorney's office to decide what charges they might face. All right, the story continues to unfold. David Beenick, thanks.